This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome to a brand new series for the Outer World. So we're going to start off with a brand new game here. I already have a private playthrough, but I want to do a different playthrough in a different style for the channel because I think it'll be really fun and I really think you all will enjoy it. So we're going to click new game. And I think I, I'm doing normal right now and normal is just a bit too easy. So let's see what's hard mode do in hard mode. Enemies have more health and more damage. Supernova mode adds additional challenges to the game. Oh wow. Supernova is like crazy difficult. There is a lot to that. So maybe we'll just try hard mode. Um, just gives enemies more health and more damage. Yeah, let's just give that a shot because as it stands now, like normal mode is super easy for me. I'm not having any problems just like kind of plowing through the content. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. This is the beginning of your character Hundreds creation. Of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. I like how they did this. So we start off picking our skills here. So we have uh, our strength, our dexterity. Our intelligence, perception, charm, temperament. So I'm going to be doing a lot of killing. That's for sure. I want to play this as kind of just a give zero Fs type person. So I think we're going to go for, and I don't really like melee ever. So we get inspiration and intimidation, but uh, yeah, we're going to go dexterity so we can pick locks and all that good stuff. Let's go 20. We go one more. Let's go one more. I see Let's you go. Had a knack for misappropriation. Yeah, yeah, we do have a knack for misappropriation. We like to shoot things and sneak and pick locks and all that good stuff. Yeah, that looks good. By the way, these videos for this series are going to be a little bit longer than what you're normally used to on the channel, um, just because of the way that the game plays. Okay, so now we need to, we have two points available that we can put in stuff. So we're going to put one a there. Shot. Capital. And uh, one there. You had a hand in everyone's pocket. Yeah, we do. So then we have to pick one of these for our aptitude. There's a lot of different options here. I'm going to go for elevator specialist. So it gets us plus one for engineering. At least you're not claustrophobic. And now we get to design our appearance. So we're going to, we're going to make ourselves look like we've just been through some stuff all right that's that's about as evil of a look as i could come up with they didn't have any really evil looking eyebrows but um it all doesn't really matter in the long run because i'm going to be wearing a helmet but you know it's for you know why not okay so he looks he looks evil like this was the wrong guy to wake up so let's go to next we'll get our name all right and uh enter to accept yep Next. So all of that looks good to me. Um, yeah, next. Let's do it.
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines and prepare to be... Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down 25%. Skip drive. Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? <laughs> Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Nothing ever works for this guy. I love it. I love this game so much. I love everything about this game. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. And thus begins our journey. Alright, so here we go. Gotta get out of this pod. Luckily, we apparently know exactly what buttons to hit. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. <laughs> what in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh, uh, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. It's freaking great. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Exactly. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I'm just checking to make sure, like, there's nothing that I missed, because I just kind of took off running the last time. But I just want to make sure there's, like, nothing that uh, I missed picking up around here. Because this game, I've discovered that this game likes to hide things everywhere, like goodies, like really good goodies. So, I'm just going to kind of explore this area to make sure that um, I didn't miss anything. And it's a beautiful game too, I mean, just look at it. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Amazing. Okay, so, I'm not seeing anything around here, so I guess we'll just head down this way. And then we go, it's going to give us our random tutorial shenanigans here. Jump, crouch, left, right, up, down, all that good stuff. And then we can jump down. 
can stop crouching now. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Of course there is. Because we have to have superpowers. Game wouldn't be complete if we didn't have some type of superpower. I don't know if there's like an easier way down from there or not. I just, I don't care. I just jump. Use my inhaler. There we go. Heal up. Meet our first person. Hey, you. Come here. Hold you on tried a the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Mm -hmm. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What are you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Uh, I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll help you. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. I do. Got some spare ammo. Yeah, great. Not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. This poor guy. Do you know anything about the hope? The hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti-Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay, I'm off. Now here's the fun part. <laughs> Thanks for uh, the stuff. Oh, see, you were holding out on me. You had riot gear. It's my riot gear now. Why can't I not get back in there to pick that up? Pick it up. There we go. Let's get that. And uh, just give me all of your goodies. Getting off to a really good start. I mean, honestly, he was going to die anyway, right? Me. What yeah. in the yep, tactical time dilation. So, the great thing about tactical time dilation is that it lets you get the drop on people like that. Hey, it's enough of that. Why are you not freaking? Fine! I was trying to get a headshot on him, but uh, instead I guess we'll just empty our whole freaking clip. And you don't have any ammo on you. That's fantastic. At least you got stuff down here. Give me all your stuff. That's all my stuff now? Stupid freaking marauders. Oh look, we can hack this and it's not even going to cost us anything. Sweet. I mean, we don't need that. We'll sell it because we're not doing melee, but you know, it's fine. I need a good, I need a good hunting rifle. That's what I need. These pistols are for noobs. Alright, let's see if we can get the drop on this guy. Our time dilation shenanigans has refilled and yeah, there we go. We got him. I'm going to save it because then we can hit it again. Shoot that guy. Hey. Die. Stop. Stop that. Are you down? Being fresh and new is, is hard. Where? Who's still shooting me? Okay. Great. Where did that body go? There. That's what I'm looking for. Give me all your stuff. Yeah, I know. I'll level up here in a minute. We're gonna heal up. Let's take a look at our... Yeah, I know. We're gonna take a look at our food here. Consumables. This should heal us. So let's just use that instead of our...
thingy here and we'll go to our equipment and is this better this is better let's equip that not worried about the melee shenanigans we, we get plenty of ammo although i don't know if it's gonna be harder on ammo for us um in hard mode those guys took a lot more of a hit now these guys we can come up here and we can talk our, our way out of this situation here and you know they they'll just go away however i'm not gonna do that hey, i'm going to attempt to just shoot them in the face hey how's it going i could talk to you but i'm not going to instead i'm going to shoot you a whole bunch and then i'm going to shoot your buddy a whole bunch as well oh you had an assault rifle on you yeah buddy um yeah i don't care we'll we'll worry about our skills in a minute game doing a hundred other things give me that assault rifle all right let's do our skills real quick so we want to max out guns first so i'm just going to put 10 points in guns and then we get um let's apply that and then yep i know perks then we get our perks Let's select our perks. So our first perk is going to be tactical di time dilation meter so that we can keep it longer, I think. Nah, I think we're going to go with the meter first. Let's accept that. This tactical time dilation is super freaking handy. All right, let's swap to our assault rifle. Oh, we only have 36 shots in our assault rifle. Okay, so we got to make it count. So here's the game plan. I'm going to wait for our health to regen. We're gonna tactical time dilate that guy. Tactical time dilate that guy. Kill that guy like that. Do it again. Okay. I think we're alright. Let's swap to our pistol. Hey, buddy. About had enough of your shenanigans. All right, that, uh, that wasn't too bad. All right, got everything collected up. Now we'll head up here to the ship. We can put our gun away now. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do, self-destruct? Jetson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, I'll three, look on her face. two, one. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Ada's the freaking best. I need to get this ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Captain's a red smear on my escape pod. Uh, under I my escape pod. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Let's try, let's try this. I understand. You are speaking metaphorically. You wandered outside this ship and experienced a permanent, life-changing encounter. The old you is dead. Welcome back, Captain Hawthorne. I extend felicitations and congratulations on your life-changing experience. Great, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. I doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in the garage. Observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. 
Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay, so there should be some goodies in this ship that we can raise. We can get I the Adreno. Everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. And another light assault rifle. Let's go up here. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Well, that's BS, Ada. This is new. Uh, what's this dude doing here? I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie, from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I should do. I don't like your tone, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie to him. <laughs> Tell him that they brutally shot themselves because it's way funnier. Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. Second time this month. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. Good idea. Clean up my ship while you're at it. Is that an official Spacer's Choice spacecraft on an official Spacer's Choice landing pad? Do I look like an auto mechanical sanitation unit? The answer to both questions is no. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Do we want to ask him anything? Uh, nah, I'll just be on my way. Okay. So now we gotta head on, head on over to Edgewater. Keep an eye out for bandits. I want to kill as many as possible. I want to try to get, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a detour here. I want to try to get a little bit more experience under my belt, maybe even level before we get to town because I have an idea. Now I don't know if this is going to be a bad idea or not. I don't know how much high, higher level they are than me. Oh, we do have a lot of shotgun ammo, which is good. Uh, let's swap back to the rifle. Okay, we'll do the shotgun. We'll bait them around the corner. Come on. Oh, wow. They have a lot more HP than me. No, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Fire Spark. Are you really going to try that again? And the, and yeah, yeah, the answer is yeah, I'm going to try that again. I, I have a plan because I know what's going to happen for the most part. And I want to see if I level up a little bit higher than what I need to be if I can pull it off. I think we, if we could just kill one or two, I missed a, I missed my headshot. I just need my time dilation meter to recharge. All right, here we go. Missed it again. It sucks that you, when you, you only get the effects from, it's one thing that irritates me about this game is that you only get the effects from do, shooting them when you're under time dilation. So like doing a headshot blinds them if you don't kill them with a single shot. However, it doesn't do it if you're not under time dilation. Yeah, there we got her. Or him. Okay, we dropped him. It get, did not get us as much experience as I was hoping, but we might get some goodies off of them. Okay, a little bit of heavy ammo there. You had nothing on you, really. So I want to go over here to this encampment and see. 
we have any more people over here? I thought I saw a marauder. Just kind of... Yeah, 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 we got some there. That is a marauder, right? Yep, definitely a marauder. Ooh, what do you, what do you have? Do you have an assault rifle? We got a little bit more ammo here. We might have enough to... And there's a canid there. Can we do this? Alright, let's crouch. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. I'm gonna time dilate and then double headshot to blind them and then take out the dog first. And then I'll deal with them individually. At least that's the game plan. Just need to get a good shot on both of them. Oh, that one's moved. Why did you have to move? Oh, the dog didn't die. Okay, dog's dead now. We need to run? Oh, there's another dog. Okay. Dead. We're gonna swap to the rifle. Buddy, you're almost dead. You sure you want to walk up here? Okay. So far, so good. Here's what we're going to do. Buddy, why won't you die? Die! Jesus, dude! Oh, and you did not drop that rifle you had. That sucks. No, nothing. Alright, well, we'll pick up all the ammo. Ammo there. Yeah, I know. Pick that. We're not quite high enough on- Well, yeah, let's go ahead and waste the things on it. We'll get plenty more. Ooh, bolter pistol. Alright, well, that might have been worth. Let's take a look at this pistol here. 22 times 3. Actually, yeah, that's not- not a terrible option. How much energy ammo? Only 18. Can we hack this? Yeah, we can hack this for free. Nice. Okay, let's get in here and rob all this stuff. Get us lots of goodies to start with. We're getting off to a really good start. More ammo. More ammo and stuff to sell. Stuff there. Music box, stuff to sell. Oh, the revolver. That does 37, 94 DPS. Um... And that's light ammo, and that's actually better than this. A good trade-off there, because that's only 20. 94. Well, actually, it's slightly less DPS, but it hits harder. See, they, they show you the DPS, which is really awesome, but some it's it can screw with you sometimes because the, the damage makes a little bit more of a difference in this game uh, as opposed to DPS in certain situations. So, like, 37 damage per shot is pretty good um it just shoots a little bit slower but honestly that's probably better off than this only doing 20 per shot especially with with this lower level stuff that we're fighting right now so you got to take into account like all of your variables when it comes to weapons also the type matters too you can see the the different type here this this is Plasma, that's the word I was looking for. So you can see there that different different types do different different things for, are used for better optimized for killing different things. That's what I'm trying to spit out there. I think there's only two. Oh no, there was three. Crap. This dude's stuck. Woohoo for broken AI! Are you sure about that? Are you sure I'm going to suffer? Because I feel like that's not the case. Really? I missed him with all of those shots? Alright. That hit him. Take that. It means just the tiniest bit of time dilation.
Burn, baby, burn. All right, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Pile of dust. And he had a hunting rifle. Sweet. That's what I was looking for. A lot of dead mirage. Oh, there's one. And you're dead. Oh, that's probably way more than I want to mess with. Eh, maybe. And you're down. Hunting rifle is so good. I love it. Headshot. Headshot. And you're dead. There we go. We got our level. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's rob all that stuff. All right, and with that, we are pretty much almost encumbered, so we're going to head over to the town and continue on with our adventure. We're going to go in here, talk to a bunch of different people, all that good stuff. All right, here we are in town, and our first stop is over here. We got to go up and talk to that guy. He's up top there. So, go in the door here. Over this way. Oh, that's the factory. All right, let's, uh, there's nobody here, so... We are playing a bad person. So let's just steal all this stuff. What do we got here? Yep, give me that. Can we break into this? Mm-hmm. Logs. Nobody seems to be the wiser. Fantastic. All right, quick save. Now this is where our journey is going to get a little crazy. And it's going to probably screw the story up a little bit from what I'm used to. monkey Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Mm-hmm. You must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. I think you have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. A ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. <laughs> nice. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Tell me what I need to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I will recognize her. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Those workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. 
Adelaide will understand that. All right, Reed, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure, I can use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Yep, we got a companion. Yay. Okay, Pravati, uh, you need to sure go thing. stand right there because some stuff's about to go down. We're going to rock a quick save here real quick, and uh, we're going to pull out. <laughs> Do the... The hunting rifle? These guys are going to be very angry when I do this. Actually, what may be a better option is to blind both of them and shoot him in the face then. Um, yeah, let's try that. Crap. You just killed him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. We're gonna go with killed who? Mr. Thompson. Reed Thompson. You know, my boss. I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. Uh, we can try determination. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? Let's just... Let's just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the veil unsupervised. Okay. Come on. We're we're going <laughs> we're going on a mission. We have hit our wrap-up time. So that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.